and there's the foam fractionator after 24 hours the level has dropped in the dome so it's nowhere near the top it's not producing any bubbles that are going over the top um, down in the bucket there's a bit of water but that's just where the, it's gone right up to the top and over the top of the water itself as you can see the water itself is clean so it's not foam fractionated so I don't know I'll switch it off and see if anybody has any ideas about how to actually get some more foam out of it or how to keep the level up and see if uh, Tilly Wright comes up with anything that uh, might can use and help make it better. So, there it is, switched up. Can I uh, find out something more about it? Somewhere it's producing more foam. Or maybe me, water just hasn't got any foam in it. I can't quite believe that, but well filtered and I'm feeding just the same way as I normally feed not quite as much as through summer but I mean the pond is at 18 degrees to 20 degrees so I've been feeding fairly normally really so let's see if we can think of something else that could help but I'm not sure what it is well I made those all those adjustments to the protein skin that We're all set up now. Doesn't seem to be producing anything, but we'll have to wait and see. So basically the changes that I made was I put a acrylic collar on it. So the acrylic dome screw down on top of the collar with a rubber seal in between. And then the other thing that I did was down there. You can see that pipe takes a 90 degree and there's a pipe going down. That's the outlet. So it means the water is actually coming from the very bottom. So as the water is pumped in, the bubbles are pushing the new water up to the top and the old water is coming out by the bottom so the water actually stays in the tube for the longest time possible that's something that um, Wrighty gave us some advice about he said that's what he'd done he made it so the outlet was actually at the bottom so keeping the water in the tube for as long as possible so let's see how that does that's piping off into the bucket there uh, nothing else yet And there it is from the opposite side of the filter house. All installed. Water going up there. And the bubbles taking it up. Let's see if we can get some protein skin out of it. As you can see that's where the water's coming out at the bottom there. Using that tap. So that tap is just to adjust how much water comes out. And goes down. Back in there. So out of there and going back into the moving bed. So let's see how that does. Um, I'll leave it on now for 24 hours and we'll have another look and see if it's actually produced anything. Well, here we are, 24 hours later. Bubbles are still going there. 
estimate wise very little and it just looks like water to be honest it's so clear it just looks like the water's gone over the top so I'm getting nothing really off it so it ain't working so I'm not sure why it's not working Hopefully it's just that there's no protein in the pond. I haven't been getting a lot of foam, so maybe it's just the fact there's no protein in the pond and I don't need it yet. We'll have to see. Thanks to all you subscribers out there, all the old ones and the new ones. Please subscribe, ring that bell and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you later guys.